Hi everyone. One thing which I find very interesting is how the Italian anarchist Enrico Malatesta responded to being a celebrity within the movement. He was one of the most widely read and translated historic anarchist authors. He'd participated as a key member of several important anarchist organizations. He'd participated in multiple key events within not just Italian anarchist history, but also the international history of the movement as a whole since its origins in the late 1860s. As a result of these factors, Malatesta had to deal with people putting him on a pedestal and venerating him in a way that made him feel uncomfortable as an anarchist because he wanted to be treated as an equal, he didn't want people to defer to him as an authority figure, and part of why he didn't want this to happen is that as a good anarchist, he understood that irrespective of his own intentions, people treating him in this way could bring out the worst in him. Being viewed as a celebrity could get to his head and make him a worse anarchist than he otherwise would be. In response to people uh, venerating him, he wrote a article called Thank You But Enough Already in 1920 upon returning to Italy having been in exile for some time due to state repression. Upon returning to Italy, he immediately jumped into agitation and gave a number of talks uh, around the country and had to then deal with people going slightly berserk uh, over him because he'd been this kind of mythic figure uh, for many anarchists who hadn't actually met him but had read of him and looked up to him and uh, knew things about his life. So in the article, Malatesta says the following. I am back in Italy thanks to the efforts of comrades and friends, and I thank them for having afforded me the means to make my contribution to our common cause. It grieves me that my modest faculties do not allow me to do as much as I should like, or as perhaps is expected of me. Be that as it may, I shall strive with all my belief and all the enthusiasm that burns within my heart. Permit me now to make one observation critical of Comrade's actions towards me. During the agitation that took place for my return, and during these first days since my return to Italy, things have been done and said which offend my modesty and sense of proportion. The Comrade should remember that the hyperbole is a rhetorical figure of speech which should not be abused. They should above all remember that the exaltation of man is politically a dangerous thing and morally unhealthy as much for him who is exalted as for those who do the exalting. And then I am so made that I find hand clapping and cheering unpleasant, tending to paralyze me rather than encourage me to work. I want to be a comrade among comrades and if I have the misfortune of being older than others, it cannot please me to be continually reminded of this by the deference and attentions which the comrades inflict on me. Do we understand one another? If you liked this little article and want to read more Malatesta, I recommend you read the Method of Freedom Anthology, edited by David Toccato, which this text is taken from, if you want to learn more about Malatesta as a person, I recommend reading Luigi Fabri's book, The Life of Malatesta, which I have linked in the description. It contains several stories about Malatesta that I think are very fun uh, to learn about. If you like this video, please follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon. Thanks so much to everyone who has and continues to support me on Patreon and make these videos possible. Have a nice day everyone, and also please treat me as a comrade among comrades. I share Malatesta's hostility to being a celebrity.